Welcome to another Learn and Gain session on ITIL. In this video we will talk about IT Service Continuity Management. Before we get into details, we need to understand what is continuity, how it is different from continuous and continual. Let us consider an example of an electric cable link broken. Here electricity is the service provided. We no longer have the service once the link is broken. In this scenario, the electricity service is completely interrupted. Electricity cannot be restored in the immediate. Either it has to be fixed soon, or it has to be routed through another channel. The electricity will not be available until the issue is fixed or routed through another channel. This is called continuity. Continuous is a continuous line between two points. Continual is step-by-step -step movement from one point to another. Continuity has a break, starts again before reaching end point. I guess, you should be having a clear understanding on what is the difference between, continuous, continual and continuity. Let's look at more information on IT service continuity. The goal of ITSCM is to support the overall business continuity management process by ensuring that the required IT technical and service facilities can be resumed within required and agreed business timescales. The objective of ITSCM is to maintain a set of IT service continuity and recovery plans that support the overall business continuity plan. Perform regular business impact analysis exercises to ensure that all continuity plans are maintained in line with changing business impacts and requirements. Ensure that appropriate continuity and recovery mechanisms are put in place to meet or exceed the agreed business continuity targets. Negotiate and agree on necessary contracts with suppliers, for provision of capability to support all continuity plans, in conjunction with supplier management process. There are four stages in IT service continuity management. Stage 1. Initiation. Initiation talks about identifying threats and risks so a policy can be defined and communicated. Stage 2. Requirements and Strategy. This stage talks about business impact analysis, risk assessment, business continuity strategy and so on. Stage 3. Implementation. This stage talks about developing continuity plans, recovery plans, prevention and mitigation measures. Stage 4. Ongoing Operation. This stage talks about education, awareness and training, reviewing and auditing procedures, test, exercise, and improve your plan regularly. The various recovery options in ITSEM are manual, immediate, fast, intermediate, and gradual. We will look at these in detail in a separate video. IT service continuity management should be driven by business risk which is identified by business continuity planning, and ensure that the recovery arrangements are aligned to the identified business impacts, risks and needs. Hope, we were able to provide some basic insights on IT service continuity management. For more videos, please visit our website www.learnandgain.in. You can also subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We would be publishing more videos on ITIL concepts. You can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash learn and gain. You can also follow us on LinkedIn. You can also follow us on Twitter. Thank you and have a nice day.